Hello, my name is Nareen of Tagalwan Community College and uh, we are under AB Sociology 1B and I am representing the fourth group of our developmental reading class together with teacher Nemenza. I hope you could lend me your ears and borrow a short time from you for I will be uh, quickly discussing uh, a handful of dates, a short story. A Handful of Dates is an Arabic short story written by Al Taib Sayy and published on 1964 in the collection of stories, The Wedding of Zayn. It occurs in the fictional setting of the village of Wad Hamid, which is found in central Sudan. It is about a young Sudanese boy whose loyalty to his grandfather is tested when his grandfather bewitched him their neighbor's financial ruin. So, in this video, we will be analyzing the short story using the Marxist approach. It is a type of criticism in which the readers keeps in mind the issues of power, uh, politics, and money. Marxism is based on social and economic theories of Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, where they believe that value is based on labor and that the working class will eventually overthrow the capitalist middle class. One day, the narrator asks his grandfather why he dislikes their neighbor, Masood. The grandfather says Masood is indolent, or in other terms, lazy, and that he had once owned all the land that the grandfather now owns. So, technically, Masood is a wealthy man because of his former land possessions, where it was inherited first from his father. But after years of living a lifestyle that involved marrying many times, Masood's wealth reduced to the grandfather buying more and more and more of Masood's land when he was very desperate to sell it. So we can say that Masood only did this in order to support his family. That is why he is very bold and really determined to do everything he can just to keep up and sustain the needs of his bloodline. The grandfather says he has two-thirds of Masood's original land and plans to buy the final third before Masood dies. So as what I said a few seconds ago, the narrator is studying Quran inside a mosque and the story is based in Central Sudan where according to the research center, 91% of the population is Islam and we all know that they had this one Quranic uh, passage uh, which is a permission to marry more than one wife is given under highly exceptional circumstances and with extremely stringent conditions. I am quoting this message which says, Render unto the orphans the possessions, and do not substitute bad things of your own for the good things that belong to them, and do not consume their possessions together with your own. Uh, this, verily, is a great crime, and if you have reason to fear that you might not act equitably towards orphans, then marry from among other women such as are lawful to you, even two or three or four but if you have a uh, reason to fear that you might not be able to treat them right with equal fairness then only one wife so uh, men are not allowed to marry more than one if they cannot treat them fairly so the line he's an indolent man and i don't like such people clearly emphasizes that the story is narrating on discrimination grandfather describes Masood as lazy and slow and I, uh, together with my group mates, uh, we really felt pity for Masood for it is very unfair and because he experienced prejudicial treatment from people just because he sold his land to the working class which is the grandfather. The narrator thinks of how his grandfather never loves while Masood has a beautiful singing voice and a powerful love. Okay, so Masood approaches the narrator and his grandfather to ask if they would like to attend the date harvest. The narrator senses that Masood doesn't actually want the grandfather to attend, but the grandfather jumps up eagerly. Watching from the side, the grandfather sits on a stool while the narrator stands. The narrator watches Masood and he is the only one who seems to hear Masood when he tells one of the boys cutting down the date clusters to be sure not to cut into the palm horn. So after various people collect the dates and sort them into 30 sacks, everyone moves aside and allows four land-owning men to evaluate the quality of the dates. The grandfather wakes up 
and joins them. He hands the narrator a handful of dates to eat, and the man divided up the sacks, allocating ten for Saint the merchant and five sacks each to the other men, uh, leaving nothing for Masood. So the grandfather tells Masood that Masood is still uh, 50 pounds in debt to him. So as the socks are loaded onto Hussein's camels and donkeys, the narrator feels the desires to touch and reach out Masood's garment hand here. But Masood makes a rasping sound in his throat like he is a slaughtered lamb. You know, and the narrator experienced a painful sensation in his chest. So the narrator runs into the distance, disregarding his grandfather calling after him. He feels hatred for his grandfather. He speeds up, feeling that he wants to get rid himself of a cigarette. Then he reaches the river bank. Without knowing why he does it, the narrator puts his finger in his throat and vomits up the dark brown oval fruit, containing a hard bit and high natural sugar content that he had eaten and this is the, the dates that has been harvested from 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 the land of Masood. So the narrator's decision to throw up the dates his grandfather handed him is a symbolic representation of his rejection of his grandfather's greed and to the grandfather himself nauseated by having unwittingly taken part of Masood's public debt repayment, the narrator feels hatred and disgust toward his grandfather, who enjoys the spectacle. In this way, uh, throwing up the dates is a physical expression of the narrator's emotional need to disown his grandfather. So for us, the story A Handful of Dates is a story of how the young boy can act properly despite of someone is doing unethical behavior. There is no success for a man who pulls other people down for his own gains. Indeed, the phrase, money changes people, is true. Give someone thousands of blue bills and he will show his true colors. Grandfather adored by his grandchild and even compared him to as pure as a river, shatter his view and spits the dates in disgust of greed and selfishness.